Hi guys, Jeremy here from The Learning Hub. Uh, welcome to the video. This video is going to be all about uh, how to create a listing with us. All right, It's a very, very easy process and I'll be walking you through it step by step. Just follow along with this video and before you know it, you will have a listing with us. And uh, yeah, let's, let's move on. So first up, just uh, jump in behind a computer and open up your browser. You know, Google Chrome, Safari, whatever it is you use. And up in the top bar there, just give it a click and then type in thelearninghub.org.nz. So let's do that now. Alright, so that's loaded the uh, home page for the website. And as you can see, there's a navigation menu up the top. Alright, in that top navigation menu, there is a title called Find Child Care. Simply come across to Find Child Care and hover over top of it. If you hover in, hover over top of it, you'll see that there's a drop down that appears that reads Add an ECE Listing. And we simply come down to that and click on it. Doing so will take us through to the registration page. Now, if you have previously registered with us, obviously you can just sign in using the a sign in box on the left there. If you haven't uh, registered with us before, which for the sake of this video we're going to assume is the case, it's simply a case of registering, which you know doesn't take very long at all, and it's simply a case of following these little steps here. So we're just going to go through full name, so into your full name, throw in an email. And then simply choose choose yourself a password. Okay, this can be whatever you choose it to be. And then just confirm it in the box below that. And then down here you've got a question: Are you human? All right. So you just have to prove that you're not, you know, a a robot or some sort of spam, um, spammy scammer type thing. So uh, simply tick the "I am not a robot" box. And in this case, we get a, a prompt to secure, or oh, sorry, select all squares with street signs. So we just click those just to prove that we are in fact human and not a spammy robot. So we just come through, click all this stuff, everything with a road sign in it in this case. And there you go, we've got a little green tick there, which means we've proven to uh, recapture that we are not robots. So we can now register by clicking the register now button. And that'll take us through to the listing page itself. You know, and the, all these steps are pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to follow. Um, but, you know, some people like to follow along, so that's why we're here. All right, so this is the listing uh, page. If it says add place, then you're in the right place. All right, the first thing you'll see is select package. Okay, and currently there's only one package to select, which is the ECE listing. So simply click on that. All right, so once we've selected an ECE listing, we move on to the listing details. All right, so business owner or associate, we're going to assume that you are for the purpose of this video. Um, and then it's simply a case of where it says place title, putting in the name of the kindergarten or centre that you're representing. So in this case, We're going to call our centre Little Hands Child Care. All right. Below that we have the place description. And this is somewhere where you can uh, sculpt a message for parents to sort of entice them, I suppose, to um, you know make a call, come and visit you, have a look through your centre or whatever. Um, you know, you can include in there your teaching philosophy and things like that. So basically, it's an opportunity to showcase your centre or your kindergarten or whatever. So if you've got a website or something already, you can cut and paste um, directly from there. If you don't have anything like that, just take your time to you know, sculpt a, a really meaningful message to your parents or potential, uh, potential parents. All right, in this case, I'm just going to fill it with some dummy text for now. Okay. Below that, we have the tag keywords. Now, the tag keywords is simply a way that people can filter through search results um, to try and narrow down their search. So... If you, for example, if you're a franchise and you've got 
you know, centres in Manawatu, Taranaki, uh, Wellington, whatever, you can put in, you know, the name of your centre and then, you know, the region, all right? So it, 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 it can narrow it down uh, for, for people searching, all right? Likewise, uh, you can put in there the type of the type of centre, you know, like it might be, you know, Montessori or Waldorf or something like that. All right, so you can include uh, tag keywords in there. It's not a necessary component of the listing, um, but if you feel comfortable doing it or you want to do it, you've got a bit of space there to do so. Next up, we've got the category. Okay, this is pretty simple. We just come across to the drop down, click on it, and we in here we've got childcare centre, in home, kindergarten, play centre, or kohongareo. Right, so whichever one you uh, feel that your, or you know, whichever category you feel that your centre or your kindergarten, whatever, uh, falls into, you just simply click on it, and you'll see it pops up here. All right, you can select multiple categories if you wish, um, but it's unlikely that you will need to. Now, address, we just put in the location here, so I'm just going to put in. So once you've entered your address up the top here, as you can see, you know, we enter in 487 France Road and we've got all these options down here. All right, to choose from whichever one is relevant to you. Just click on it and the map will self-populate and drop a pin in your location. Okay, if, uh, if for whatever reason, it's un in the unlikely event, I suppose, that uh, your address doesn't list in here, you can enter it manually. All right, and then simply put in, like I said, your region, your city, zip code and then carry on if your if the pin drops on the map and it's not quite in the right spot you can always grab it and drag it to you know the actual location of your your center okay it's entirely up to you but you can drag and drop it using the uh, using the mouse cursor drag and drop the pin otherwise just uh, rely on the the address which will self populate it. Okay, once you've done that, you can come down whether you want people to see a default map such as the Google Maps, okay, or you can select a satellite map or a hybrid or a terrain map. Um, this is basically what will show up on your on your listing page. All right, from there, it's simply enter your time. So the times you're open. So let's say 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. Okay, it's as easy as that. Phone number, so here you just enter a phone number. Um, I just made that one up, but um, you just enter a phone number. It could be a mobile phone, it could be a landline, uh, whatever. All right, then email, you can enter an email in here. Now this would be the email for your administration person or you know your centre manager, something like that. And then down the next one down we've got website, okay. And self-explanatory, you just enter in the URL for uh, your website if you have one. So for example, www.thelearninghub.org.nz. Obviously you're not going to put that in there, but if you have uh, a website of your own. You can link to it by putting in your URL into that uh, that box. Down below that, we've got Twitter and we've got Facebook. All right, so if you have a Twitter account or a Facebook account that's um, linked to your child care centre or kindergarten, whatever, you can enter the uh, details into into this little box here, and that will provide a, a link on the page to your Facebook and Twitter pages. All right, so the final step is just to upload some photos, okay? Parents want to see, you know, what your centre looks like and, you know, what you have to offer. So it's an opportunity to put up, you know, up to three photos that um, really showcase your place. All right, so a couple of ways you can do it. You can either come down to um, select files down the bottom and navigate your way through the computer until you find the folder you're looking for that contains your photos and then select three photos and then click OK. Or you can simply come uh, open up you know the folder 
prior to, select your three photos, and then just drag them and drop them into the uh, area here. And as you can see, they're loading up now. Okay, so we now have three photos, and the order in which they appear is the order they are here. Okay, so if you prefer this, for example, the photo on the right-hand side to come up first, just grab it, drag it to the front. All right, maybe you want that one to show up last, drag that to the rear. All right, so a very easy way to do it. Okay, like I said, the other way is simply to, if you don't want to do the drag and drop method, just click Select Files, find the folder that uh, contains the um, contains the images you're looking for and select the images you want and then click open all right and as you can see the files have generated down the bottom there and once again we can drag and drop them so that they appear in the order that we want them to appear on the on the home page or on the on the listing page all right once all that's done once again We've got, I'm not a robot, so let's click, tick that box. This time, everything that's got a car in it. All right, so let's select vehicles. All right. And we just keep, keep clicking until there's no photos with cars in them, which we've completed that. So we click verify. Okay, we are not robots. And then we've got, please complete, oh, sorry, please accept our terms and conditions. So that's simply a case of checking this box and then reviewing the listing. Okay, if you'd like to review the terms and conditions, simply click on this link and it will take you to our terms and conditions page, which you can read through. Okay, but uh, you know you can do that in your own time. So I simply, like I said, tick this box and then click review your listing. Okay, so it's telling me that I haven't entered HTTP first. So with the URL for the website, http colon and two forward slashes, and we'll try that again. All right, guys, so here we are on the preview page. This is where you get a chance to preview your listing. Okay, as you can see at the top there, this is a preview of your listing. It has not been published yet. Okay, if there's something wrong, go back and edit, or you can add the listing by clicking on confirm preview and go to checkout. Okay, it tells you what the price is uh, before GST and that it's going to be alive for 365 days. All right, so as you can see, there's a little button here that says go back and edit. So if you find something wrong, simply click go back and edit and make some tweaks. Okay, but otherwise you've got the uh, confirm, confirm the preview and go to checkout button uh, on the right hand side. So if we go down and have a look at our listing, okay, the little, uh, little hands child care is what we called it. And we've got our images on this little slider flicking through every five seconds or so, which is great. As you can see in the right sidebar, we have the address that we had uh, self-populate, and we've got our time, 8 a.m., 5 p.m., Monday to Friday. We've got our phone number that we entered. We've got send an inquiry, so if people click on that, uh, you know, it'll generate an email for you. Okay, and then you've got send a friend, so people can uh, promote your your page by sending uh, sending a link to this page to friends of theirs okay and then of course you've got the website link at the bottom so click on that and it will take you to um, your website if you have one or entered one all right over here you've got your dashboard which is where you can log out make other list uh, you know create other listings look at your invoice history and so on and so forth and then we come to the bottom and this is your description Okay, this is just dummy text I cut and paste in there, which obviously doesn't look too flash, but obviously you can sculpt this as much as you want, and like I said, include things like your teaching philosophy and and what you have to uh, to offer and what's unique about your centre or kindergarten. Okay, and this is pretty much how it's going to look. Okay, and in the sidebar we've got, you know, the other recent places. So. Like I said, if, we, if you notice any mistakes or errors that you want to correct, just click go back and edit. Otherwise, simply come across to the right-hand side here and click confirm preview and go to checkout.
right, so we're now on the checkout page. So first name, and then it's let's just add the last name over this side. So first name, last name, address. So your street address, your city, your country, obviously going to be New Zealand, your state or province, region, so in this case Manor 2 Wanganui, uh, your zip code, and contact phone number. Okay, then we've got your company, num company name and uh, GST number, which you can enter if you if you wish. Uh, and then you've got basically an outline of what, what you're paying for. So you've got your ECU standard listing. The place is Little Hands Childcare, $86.09. One listing, uh, sorry, quantity one, plus GST of 12 point, oh, you know, 15%, so $12.91 in this case, which gives us a grand total of $99. Alright, and then from there you can select payment method. Okay, so you can select bank transfer or PayPal. Entirely up to you, um, which you prefer. Uh, we, you know, we're happy to accept either, so no, no dramas there. And then once you've clicked uh, whichever payment method you uh, prefer, just simply click proceed to pay. In this case, I've selected bank transfer, and then you get to the payment confirmation page. Okay, so as you can see, we've got an option here on the right-hand side to print the invoice, and another option to look at our invoice history. All right, just a little thank you message there saying thank you very much for your payment, and then talking about uh, paying directly into the bank account, and of course using the invoice ID as the payment reference. Okay, that's quite important uh, when it comes to processing payments and stuff. We need to know who's paid for what and so on and so forth. So just make sure you include your invoice ID in your payment reference. Okay, and uh, the invoice won't be processed until the funds have cleared and so on and so forth. So uh, below that, you've got the bank account details for the Learning Hub. So pretty, pretty self-explanatory, and then your invoice details. So invoice number, like I said, which is going to be uh, relevant when it comes time to pay by bank transfer. Just simply include that as your reference. Uh, invoice status, obviously pending payment. Payment method that was selected was bank transfer. Invoice date is today's date, and the due date is 14 days after that, and the total amount. All right, so that's pretty much it for the uh, payment confirmation page. Uh, the only other thing is, if you head down to your emails and open them up, just double check. Uh, some of the emails will end up going to junk in the first instance. If that's the case, generally there's a move to inbox or this is not junk type uh, button. Just simply click that. All future emails from the Learning Hub should uh, pop into the uh, email address inbox uh, that you selected. So uh, that's pretty much it. That is us done and dusted. Uh, like I said, I told you it was very easy. If there's anything else um, that you need help with or some more explanation required, just get in touch with us, admin at thelearninghub.org.nz, and we'll um, we'll help you get it sorted. All right. So thanks for watching, and um, look forward to seeing your listing.